Miss Buds, it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden. I love making everything that has to do with junk journals, and if this is something you enjoy too, please subscribe. I'm having a thousand subscriber giveaway, and I've been working on my journal, and I want to give a shout out to Gingerifs75, Deborah, Sue, Nancy, Marina, and Rockstar. I appreciate each and every one of you. Okay, guys. I am doing my take on a video that I saw that G. Carey put up. And so this is my take on what she did with hers. This is what I'm doing with mine. So what you want to do first is you want to uh, get yourself some watercolor paper. And I have been shopping on this piece of watercolor paper. And I will show you what I did on this. Let me get my little stamps. Okay, I chose to do flowers. I have this larger punch for the flowers. It has no name on it, absolutely no name. And I have a smaller punch that happens to be a Fiskars. Okay, so you just take your watercolor paper and you just punch out a few of these flowers. It'd go flying if I let it just pop up. <laughs> it just go flying. I don't think this one will go flying. No. There we go. So just, you're going to have to punch out a few. So I am going to punch out a few of the smaller ones so I can show you what we do after we punch them out. you will want to get yourself some water. And I let my little punch outs soak in some water for just a little while. It is watercolor paper, so it'll absorb it, but it won't fall apart. At least not right away, it won't. So while that is soaking up the water a little bit, I'm gonna get into my little watercolors. They're just inexpensive little watercolors. Nothing fancy going on here at all. And you'll also want to get some tracing paper and punch yourself out some little flowers out of the tracing paper. And if you're punching out the big ones, you'll want the big tracing paper to match as well. I'm just going to make some small ones right now. And I made some yesterday so they'd be all dry because they do have to dry before you do the next step. But I'm going to show you what you do after they've been in the water for a few minutes. You need to kind of decide what colors you're going to work with because um, it gets real muddled if you don't kind of stay with your theme. You might need to get a couple of little tubs of water if you're going to do blues and yellows uh, and you don't want them to mix. All right, so I just lay mine out. They're wet. They've got water coming off of them right now. I'm going to move those out of the way so they don't get wet. I would like to do an orange. So I'm just going to work up my color on my brush. And then I'm just going to brush it on my flower, just like that. And then I'm going to turn them over and do the other side. Just like that. This is super easy. Of course it is. I'm doing it. Super easy. <laughs> Okay, so rinse your brush out just a little bit because you don't want to get your next color to get all yucky. So I'm going to go with yellow. Whoops. And I'm going to get my yellow on my paintbrush. And I'm going to color this with yellow as well. Just like that. Then I'm going to, once again, I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to <clears throat> get me my napkin <clears throat> that I've been using yesterday. I'm going to have to rinse this off a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
because I don't want that orange. I got a little bit of orange in my yellow yesterday. I'm going to turn it peach. But that's why I'm doing... Oh, my goodness, you guys. I think I'm going to have to get a drink. Just a second. Okay, I hope that's much better. Um, my journal is those orangey, peachy colors and the greens. And so I was working with those colors earlier, so I thought I'd just stick with that. All right, so we've got this in this uh, stage. I'm using this little tool that I purchased at Hobby Lobby in the sewing department where you find the snaps. And I'm using this smaller end. It doesn't matter which end you use, though, but I'm using the smaller end. And I'm just using it, <clears throat> my goodness, you guys, to make my flower go in half. And then I <clears throat> kind of fold it and roll it. And then I remove that. So it's going to look like this. I just really rolled it up. Then I'm going to take it and this liquid uh, paint down here, I'm just going to sop it up with the top, the tips of this, and it also smushes that down, which also will help. So I'm going to put this in a bucket over here because I don't want to mix it up with my ones that are already dry so I can continue to show you what I'm doing. I literally just fold it up and I just twist it in my hands and then I sop up the excess paint and water just like that. One more time. Actually, I need to do two more times and twist it up. That's all you have to do, guys. That's it. So I'll do these other two. Okay, I finished those. Now, these are the ones I did yesterday, and they are dry. And these are my little pieces of tracing paper that I stamped out using the same size flower. Now you want to open these up gently. You're not flatting them out. Flatting. You're not making them flat. <laughs> okay. So you're going to open one up that you want to use, and you're going to get one of your little flowers out of the tracing paper and put your put something in the center so it helps you fold it up. You're just folding it up and rolling it the same way you did on the um, paint paper, the painting paper, the watercolor paper. Then you're going to unfold it. I'm going to need to wash my hands. I'm getting color on these things. Then you'll want to take your glue and you'll want to put a little bit of glue down inside the center and you're going to take your folded up rolled up little flower and you're going to stick it down in there like that just like that whoops just like that oh and just like that it comes off <laughs> okay then you're going to pick another one and you're going to unfurl it just a little bit not really as much and you're going to put the glue on the tip of that one as well. And you're going to put that one inside. So you've got three layers. You've got watercolor paper that is painted. You've got your tracing paper. And you've got your another watercolor paper. Now, if you just want to make a lot of these, you can just put a center of a pearl or a seed bead or something like that. This bigger one, I put a little uh, pearl inside. I don't know if you can even see it in there. This one, I did uh, watercolor paper, I did tissue, I did watercolor paper, I did tissue, and then I did a small one for the center. You can make up whatever you want, however many layers you want, however thickness you want, this is what I did with mine. I made a tassel in which I showed you how I made these tassels in one of my videos. I will link it towards the end of my video. I used crayons to color my fabric and I put lace and I put some little thread 
different colors that match my cover of my um, journal that I'm making for the giveaway. And I sewed on these flowers on the top of my tassel. So they look, it looks very shabby chic. I mean, super duper shabby chic. I think it's adorable. It's extremely simple, you guys. You will love it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.